Mm. Every fucking mm. podcast. Mm. Mm. All right, this is getting a little too creepy. Every fucking pow, podcast. Pow, 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 pow. I don't want to hear none of this shit. Pow, pow. Another reason why we mm. do not get rooms next to each other. Ah. Oh. I don't want to hear none of that shit. I'm over ah. here sleeping. I'm over here after a long, hard week of working hard. And choking bitches. What? Then I'm over here it's turning jiu-jitsu. around, and you're over here like, I just hear fucking, mm. I'm like, nah, nah, man. I ain't trying to do that. Nah. Wide awake and shit, all disturbed, traumatized. Discombobulated and shit. Yeah, just I'm trying to hear none of that, dog. I'm good. I'm good. I'm hear these. I'm trying to hear about these nuts. Trying to hear about these nuts. I'm not trying to hear about these <laughs> stories from these nuts. Uh, I try to hear nothing from your nuts, dog. Wow. Nothing. Why not, man? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. I made it. I've made it nuts. as far as I've made it without having to interact with your nuts. I'm good till now. I'm going to keep it that way. Stories from my nuts. <laughs> That's your next kid's book, right? Yeah. It's like two walnuts just cracked open. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, this man I got lights for centuries for those that listened to the podcast last week all eight minutes of it i uh i thought that that section that we recorded was longer it was only like eight minutes i gotta figure out which way this guy's going because i don't want to be up in you yeah he's up in me all right we're going this way now Fucking take it go dog just take it screw that guy screw that guy and his unnecessarily bright lights anyways we back after back. we didn't die we didn't die so we didn't die in that fight with the fucking tire nope sure did not my car is up and running again i in fact i have to do an alignment tomorrow has nothing to do with the tire by the way just normal car maintenance because some of y'all don't do that no not a lot of people don't do that i didn't send you that picture of that rotor huh i went to get an alignment on the on you the, did i saw it on instagram oh yeah dude that rotor is disgusting it needs to be fully thick like it's 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 like the hat that the dude wears on Mortal Kombat and he throws it and he cuts you and shit. That's mm-hmm. how that rotor was. No, it shouldn't be like that. Should not be should like that. Should look like Goro's neck, right? It should be thick piece of metal. All right? Squared off if possible. No ridges. Say a dick, ladies. That's how your rotor should be. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, lots to talk about. <laughs> Ruben apparently is sick. He managed to catch gonorrhea of the mouth yeah on the trip to so California. i got that i got that fallopian flu <laughs> gonorrhea of the mouth like uh was it not kevin spacey who's that fucking old guy who uh ant-man oh yeah he had a uh, he had throat cancer or whatever ant-man senior yeah yeah he What's had throat name? cancer uh michael douglas michael douglas yeah he, was too he busy said going he was down just on, going uh, down on Catherine zeta jones right countless chicks i thought it was Catherine zeta jones well her that was the last one he did, but well, before like that, that... That was my whole thing, right? Like, he comes out with that thing saying he's got throat cancer. And he's like, oh, yeah, I got throat cancer. And so everybody's definitely looking at his younger wife and being like, what's up with your vagina? Right? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> what's, what's bacon in that oven that just destroyed that right. guy? Right, you know? right. Like, we should check... We should get, you should get looked at by a professional. Yeah, yeah. We should check that out, definitely, probably. yeah. It's not, not healthy. Uh, That's not yeah. normal. It's not the best. Unless that dude was just... Unless that dude was like, you know, eating nothing but that. And that's why he had no other nutritional value except what he was getting from his wife. He, he might have. I mean... Freaks, dog. They come in all hey shapes man, and sizes. The, when he was young, the 70s was a stressful time. They didn't have a lot of fruit. A lot of fruit. So he what just is this. Uh, what's that thing that sailors used to get back in the day because they didn't have orange vitamin oh, C? Oh, uh, scurvy. Scurvy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was like a sailor, man. He, he had to. He's like, fuck oranges. Yeah, it's make do. He's got scurvy of the throat now. Yeah. Scurvy of the throat. That's fucking a shirt right there. Yeah, man. And then, my, and then we put like Ant Man in it. Yeah, he's like, oh, yeah. Senior. Ant Man Senior. Gotta get, the, gotta get the juices from this, from this coochie here. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time I heard you say the word coochie. Uh, Black Mister Girl says all the time. She's like, "Oh, you gonna coochie. suck this coochie?" I'm like, "What? What? <sighs> Let me do what to what?" And then I was like, "Oh, oh, you talking about you talking about that? Okay, I got it. Got gotcha. you." Uh, it doesn't sound right when you say it, though. No, it doesn't sound right when anybody says it. I read the moment killer, dog. You can't be like, get at this coochie. What the fuck? I'm gonna start saying that now. 
I don't like, think you should be saying it either. You should be like, you should say something comical too, though. You should be like, get at this. Uh, what's that fucking candy? Uh, Chico stick. Get at this Chico oh, stick. Oh, get this Chico stick. Break it off in your mouth. Ah, <laughs> uh, what's that other fucking candy? Get a. That's what you should do. We should re- rename shit with candy bars. Be like, come get this uh, big red. No, big red is that a candy bar? That's, oh. a, that's a fucking gum. <laughs> that's a gum. <laughs> that's fucking horrible. That is terrible. Come get this payday. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Come get this Milky Way. In all reality, Snickers probably is the one that everybody should be yeah. saying for guys because it even got those fucking weird ridges on it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what? What are what, those? Exactly. Why? Like, why? Why is Snickers decide to put that on the top of their candy bar? Hey, you know what feel good in your mouth? These, <laughs> these veins. On these there. fucking veins. These chocolate veins. Oh, black dudes, I got one for you. You should just call it chocolate veins. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh because I'm uh, I'm sick, like you said. Uh, but anyway, seriously though, like, right? I just want to say like, we're not we're, we're not high, with, by the way. We're not high. What These is, are the random thoughts we have. What, in our what head is all up the with time. those fucking veiny shit on the Snicker bars? First those of all, are, it's just when they dip it in there and they pull it out, those are just left on there. Like when you pull it out of your girl, you know, it's just it's got some leftover residue. Or residue. I don't know if that's right. And we escalated very quickly. I know we're like a minute into this fucking podcast and we're talking about, about fluids and veiny. Chocolate, chocolate bars Chocolate Veiny chocolate Love yeah. that veiny chocolate As a she said What Get some veiny chocolate right now Dude uh, Fucking splinter So We're always talking While I'm like Working on the car and shit mm-hmm. Everything turns into like That's what she said joke Everything Everything I'm just like Man I'm trying to put a bolt in I'm like Fuck this shit doesn't fit That's what she said <laughs> Damn Everything dog Everything But anyways So Yeah So we survived the tire attack one would call Dude, it I, you, a World War Z it. style of a. Of a I didn't think you could hear it. You could hear it clearly. You, oh, you you listen to it? Yeah. Yeah, man. You hear the thing go. Because I go, oh, it's eight minutes. I got eight minutes. I don't have an hour, but I got eight minutes. <laughs> yeah, you can hear it for sure. It's pretty fucking clear. Um, plus, I had a whole bunch of shrapnel in my fucking hands, so I was <laughs> like, I gotta, I, I gotta, I gotta, you know, get off the podcast. But um, we survived, and then the, the following week, we just didn't do one because we were busy because we went over to go see uh, Boski for his birthday party. Yep. Shout out to Boski. I guess we could have done one at some point, but we took mm. separate cars, and we left at separate times, and just not enough time to uh, fit a full hour podcast, so <clears throat> we had to not give you one, guys. Sorry. So you'll get 51 That's this fine. year instead of the normal 52. We'll, we'll double up. Double up? Yeah, we'll give you a double one. Oh, you mean like a longer one, or you wanted two in one we'll week? Double stuff you. We'll, we'll oh, oh, like the mega stuff. Yeah, we'll do a two-hour-long podcast one day. Two hours. Ooh, yeah. I better think of content. What's going on right that? there? What is we that? have a drive-up section now. I don't know what that means. Oh, it's like delivery shit. It looks like the place I went to go do my my driving test at. Uh, did you do a driving test at school? Nope. Oh, you did it at the DMV like nope. a man. Yes. Like a grown-up person? Yes. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Yes. And I did everything. I did the parallel parking perfectly. Every really? time. Every time. But they failed me for other reasons. Road rage? Maybe. Maybe a little bit of that. I like when we're, like, sitting somewhere parked like we are now. And we're... Just watching people? We're No, 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 no. We're doing the podcast. I'm like this dumb fuck. We're doing the podcast, right? Mm-hmm. Where we have two microphones in our hands. Mm-hmm. And people look at us... Like, I just whipped out my dick and you started sucking my dick. Like, people look at us like they've never seen a fucking microphone in this person's hands before. It's fucking weird. I mean, a lot of people haven't seen a microphone before. Really? Yeah. Like, all right, so before we got here, um, I don't want to spoil the, tar- the target. Fuck. I'm Damn, sick. dog. My, my no kidding. What is up with you? You all right? We're, we're at Target. You need vitamins and shit. Yeah, multivitamin. I haven't had those coochie vitamins in a week, man. You're on withdrawals right withdrawals. now, right? Withdrawals. You're on fucking dry it's spell like again? It's like meth. It's like meth. You got you to gotta hit in normal yeah. intervals in order for you to function properly? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I get you, dog. We I get a, you. That's the next million dollar idea. This baby cow. Didn't you just talk to her like five minutes ago? Yeah, she probably got arrested. Let's see. Let's see if she wants. Are you going to get this on the podcast? Yeah, we'll see. Oh, God. Here we go. Hello? Hello? 
Okay, you want me to... Okay, I'll send the box off. What? I'll send the box off. I'm going to send the box off. It'll be gone by the time you get back. What day you get back? What day do you get back? I'm just asking for a friend. No, um, you get back Sunday or Monday? Sunday or Monday? Sunday. Okay, I'll do it. Don't worry. I'll do it. I'll do it right when I get back. At home. Nope. Easy. But because I'm not lying, that's why. All right. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'll do it. Don't worry. It'll be done. What? What? What are you looking at? It's not important. It's not important. Pause. Yeah, so I had to pause that because that was, that was, uh, nobody could tell what the fuck was going on. No, it's not, I thought, anyways, it's not important. Anyways, <clears throat> like I was saying. <coughs> Damn, son. You get me sick and shit. Maybe. You might have to crack a door open. There you go. I'm going to have those masks on like they do in Japan. Yes. Anyways, like I was saying, no, when we take the microphones up, people might not know what a microphone is. What do you think we're doing? Like fucking bong rips off of some dick looking things? Yeah. Hey, man, there's a guy with sandals on. I fucking hate when I see men wear sandals in public. The fuck, you know I own shoes? Do you not fucking own shoes and a pair of socks? All right. I said this earlier. You should only, as a man, you should only be out in fucking sandals in two scenarios or scenarios if you're an asshole. Two. All right. Mm-hmm. One is if you're at the fucking beach. I get you. Mm-hmm. You should be in sandals. You don't want fucking dirt and, and sand in between your toes and shit and your socks. Gotcha. I get that. Number two, if you're going or coming from jujitsu. All right. I get it. I get it. I don't do it still. I put them on there, but I get it. All right, you should not be walking around with fucking sandals with your nasty ass feet everywhere. Nobody wants to see it. Nobody wants to fucking stare at your toes and be like, "Is that normal?" Nobody wants to have to p- recommend a podiatrist to you. Wait, is that the right one? Yes, right, right. Maybe. So, long story short, nobody wants to see it. Nobody wants to fucking see it. Put some goddamn shoes on. All right, put some shoes on. Be a man about it. You're not a girl. You're not a woman that walks around in fucking flip flops during the summer and shit. You're not. Nobody gives you a fuck what your feet on. look like. Nobody gives a fuck what your feet look like. You should like. have shoes on all the time. You should have right? shoes on all the time. Gotcha. Nobody gives a fuck if you got a tan on your feet or not. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. What if I just came out of the hospital? I don't give a fuck. You should have some shoes on. Because if, if you went to the hospital, it's the likelihood of you probably fucking collapsing or some shit or something. So you need you, some shoes You need some grip. shoes. Yeah, man. Some True. support. Some, uh, some ankle support. Some, some, you know. I, I can confirm that because when my mom took me to the hospital just, what, a few months ago? Yeah. My mom was like, put your slippers on. Fuck that. I was like, no, no, no. Fuck that. There's a possibility I might trip. Yeah. Especially in a, a hospital where it's all tile. Tile. It's all I was like waxed and shit. I was like, I'm very much at my weakest. What I'm going to do is use the last bit of my energy, get my shoes with the most grip. I put my shoes on. That's right. You should have. Like that's exactly man. what it. That's what. That's right. That's what I did. Use the last of my energy to put your shoes to on. To put my shoes on. Yeah. You might say that's stupid. No, no. Because I, when I had to walk, grip. You're good like, to go. Like yep. fucking Spider Man. Plus, also, like, let's say you're all like lethargic and you take a step and then you slip and shit, and then that fucking sandal just goes flying, and you're in the pavement somewhere, just, just scraping your foot on the on the rough-ass ground. Mm-hmm. Arizona, it's 115 and shit. You mm-hmm. melt your foot onto the ground. It's all just leading to disaster. Just put some fucking shoes on. That's right. Yep. It's a true story, man. Oh, no. 
We were just at the Chipotle. Yes. Got this ourselves a bowl. I made myself a friend cat. I was feeding right. a cat. We shared a bowl with the cat. This uh, man at the yogurt teeny place. <laughs> yeah, that dude was like f- doing something. I don't know. Chatting on his He had his phone. Uh, phone. Tripod out holding his phone. I think he was. He's got a big chatting. following or something. I don't know him. I don't. I'm not big on the YouTubes like I used to be. I mean, I have 52,000 followers. Do you really? I mean, I'm like, who knows? Anyways, it's Jesus. not important. It's not important. The important thing is, I didn't know this man. Okay. John didn't know this man. Did you know this man? I did not. He was there at Yogurt Teeny or Yogurt Island or Yogurt, whatever the fuck. He was there with his tripod on his phone. I don't know, Skyping or somebody or videotaping. Two weighing some shit. I don't know. I don't know, with his buddies, his Gaylord buddies. Damn. And uh, you were like, oh man, just go over there and, and say hi or something. And I was like, I got one better for you, sir. I'm going to whip my dick out and just slap it on the camera. Just just, just tap it. Just be like. Just real quick. Does <laughs> it make that sound to you like. Yep. This might be a little wet, so. Oh. Disgusting. It like it like it yeah. like has a, a separation from the phone. Just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. has long stream humid, together. It's a little it's gross. Eye. Gross. Yep. You like, might have a tempered glass screen on there. You're like, sorry, bro. Clean that up. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. You should have gone in there and been like, Monday's locker room talk. Listen to us on iTunes. <clears throat> should have. We hey, that might have been a good opportunity to do a crossover. Crossover. I'm like, hey, Gaylord. Um, <laughs> You obviously suck dick. Um, you have a large following. You have a large following. So, shout us out. We will... Shout um, out your... Gaylord stuff, too? Thing. What, what do you do? Suck dick? All right. Uh, You're like, for the best dick suck. Yeah. When you need <laughs> expert take on... Expert dick sucking techniques, go to this guy. Well, the weird part is, like, he came out of the yogurt place... <clears throat> And still was like walking with his tripod, like FaceTiming or whatever that, the fuck he was doing. Maybe he was just, he was doing a blog. Dude, maybe we gotta start doing a blog. Of what? Of our bullshit activities. Maybe. I'm maybe. Like, I'm having uh, you coordinate that because I, uh, I got too much time, too much shit to do already. Oh, all right. I'll just follow me and Black Mr. Go around. There you go. That's like, oh, we're doing uh, random couple shit. We're going to eat, we're going to get groceries. We're going to get our parents random shit that they don't really need and are too lazy to get themselves. Oh, we're meeting up with John to do the podcast. Oh, we're looking at John do his car shit. <laughs> oh, me and Black Mystery Girl are banging again. Oh, jeez. I don't think you can put that on, on public. It'll, be, it'll, it'll, it'll all be blurred out. Oh, okay. There okay. you go. Or we'll, we'll, uh, we'll do our noises, except I'll do stuffed animals. If can play, you're like, oh, and then I put my leg here, and it's like, oh, wait, hold on. Simba then put his leg yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll just put in the scene from a Lion King. <laughs> oh, jeez. There you go. Good thinking, man. Good thinking. Good thinking. Who uh, who played that song? What was the song in that, that part? Oh, can you feel the love, love tonight? Who was uh, that? Uh, <laughs> get this dick. Get this lion dick. <laughs> get this lion dick. You think they're going to have that scene again? Yeah. You think they reuse the same music? Yeah. Or you think they get new music? They're redoing, they're redoing everything the same. They should. I mean, that's what banked in the money, right? Yeah. That movie's epic. I, I, I got to see it because it's part of my childhood. But at the same time, like, I don't want to go through that emotional roller coaster that's like the fucking dark parts of that movie. If mm-hmm. you think about it, if you kind of think about it, that's a fucking dark ass movie at times. I'm going to go see that movie. If there's one kid there, I'm going to be fucking mad, man. Why? Because that kid's not going to shut the fuck up for me to watch it. It was pretty good when we went to go see Dragon Ball. What fucking kid's going to watch Dragon Ball? If there would have been kid. a loud-ass kid there, I would have been like, you need to shut the fuck up. Every kid? There you go, Dad. That's all you right there. Wow. What? Wow. What? Racist. No, I'm just saying, you got to type now. Wow. Racist. I'm just saying. Black Mr. Girl's racist, too. Because I go, oh, they hired a new chick at work, new black girl. 
She's like, oh, did they hit on you yet? I was like, wow. 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 What are you trying to say? You're like a black hole to a yeah. fucking black girls or what? You just attract them all? I, I got everything the black girls want. Is that what's going on? Out of this world tongue game, apparently. Well, they just um, see you and they're like, wow, that guy's like Venom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that guy can fucking drop that uh, tongue and yeah. like that guy from Kiss. Yep. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. He got, uh, he's that Pokemon. He's that Licky Tongue. His if I was a Pokemon, I'd be a Licky Tongue. Yeah, he's all bald and he's kind of fat and he got the long ass tongue. If you're Photoshop for this, uh, no, week, no, no, I'm not gonna Photoshop you as a fucking Licky Tongue. Is it me as Licky Tongue? Uh, I'm gonna be very upset. I'm gonna Photoshop you in those one. The what was that like an Instagram hoe filter where it's like the dog, and it's all just right. like you stick okay. your tongue out. I'm gonna be the, the with that too. <laughs> <laughs> you just screenshot that from your phone and then just send it to me. A fucking dog with the tongue I don't know out. how to do those filters. You got to do that. I don't, you, know, I don't know what those are. I figured it out one day and I was like, what is all this shit? And I was like, oh, that's what chicks do. It's it's part of your story. It's not part of like a normal. Uh, I don't know I'll show you. I'll show you. I was trying to put the, some pictures up from uh, our trip with uh, Boski, but I couldn't figure out how to do that either. So, Damn, dog. What are you, like a thousand years old now? What the fuck? You ain't new to this technology and shit? Well, I could do one at a time, but I want to put them all up together. Like one, two, three, you know, like slide it over. Oh, I got you. But it wouldn't let me because I wanted to resize them because they're really big pictures. I couldn't do it. Yeah, if you do landscape and they're portraited, it fucks everything yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. So, yeah, I was like, fine. Nobody gets to see what Bosco looks like. <laughs> Nobody cares what he looks like. <laughs> Be anonymous, like Splinter Cell. Yeah. Splinter Cell's like you said too much already. He's like, now I must kill you yeah. and delete all records of your podcast. Yeah. Um. Yeah, man. Oh, so I guess, okay, so I got some random ass topics. Do I, 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 once again, this is the problem. We need to have a weekly podcast because I write down topics and then, and then I don't remember what the fuck I was talking about. I got a shelf life in my brain for so much shit. It's about a week. After uh-huh. a week, s- stuff drops off. Like uh-huh. on my list, I wrote down Poke Rap. I don't know what the fuck I was going to talk about, but it had to something to do with the Poke Rap. So the Poke Rap's better than 97% of all rap? No, I'm nowadays. sure it had some dirty thing associated with it, but still, it's like I don't know what the fuck I was talking about. Anyways, so I was thinking about this the other day where we're on the topic of. Random okay, raunchy right? shit. No, random raunchy she shit. I have a theory. Okay. I feel like if everything is equal, women enjoy sex more than men do. Okay. That's probably true. I like what I mean by that is like I think it feels better for them than it does for us. Yeah, that's probably definitely true. Right? Because I was thinking about this. I was like, all right. <coughs> Women like to think like like guys get super into it and they're like, yeah, it feels great. Yeah, it feels great. All right, all right, whatever. But it feels better for women. Mm-hmm. All right. If if you think, is see, is the thing we can't like exchange bodies and figure it out, when men and women. But this is my theory. All right. Every person, you got to remember the anatomy of things, right? As a woman, you're getting like penetration going. As a man, you're doing the penetrating, right? In a heterosexual relationship, right? But the situation is like, <laughs> it's like, so wrap your hand around your finger <laughs> and, and tell me, like, first of all, what has more sensation? How your finger is not going to fucking feel very much. It's like, whatever, dog. All right, whatever. But if you equate a woman to something as sensitive to like, the vagina, which let's let's go with like your mouth, all right? You're getting way more pleasure as a woman than you are a man, all right? Jerk off your finger and you tell me how good that feels. <laughs> wow. Right? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I got you. Like, yeah, okay, your finger is not going to be as sensitive as your dick, of course, but you get my reference. Mm-hmm. I think just anatomy-wise, they feel it better than do- dudes do, mm-hmm. assuming that the nerve endings are equal. Right, you're getting as much sensation from one as the other. Still, probably feels better as a woman. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. This is the dumb shit I think about. So you weren't even high with that. Huh? I was. I don't even get high, dog. I think of these dumb shit things all the time. You're just time. like going to work. It's like on Monday, I'm like fucking just sitting there driving to work. I'm like, hmm, interesting. That's what I think about. It's kind of shit I think about, dog. 
No, man, I think, I think you're probably right. I think it is made for women to get the most out of it. I think, yeah, I think. Like, their thing is to feel it all the way through. Right. Constantly. Ours is to be like, damn, that felt good. And then, damn, that felt good right when we nut. Yeah, like, guys, mostly <clears> just <throat> feels good when you're about to finish. And that's about it. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, there's some good Not, sensations uh, in there, too. Like, you get, like, a few other good sensations. And, like, sometimes you're like, damn. But, like, for the most part, yeah, I ain't get what you're saying. Yeah, man. I'm just saying. It just, it's it's not all equal. That's why you got to start being choked now. What the fuck is you, wrong You just said you didn't feel anything, <laughs> so now you got to start being choked. I'm like, I'm like getting choked, dog. The I've belt. Got, I've got hours of jujitsu training. I, I already, <clears throat> dude, you know what's funny? Speaking of Boski's, uh party so like boski boski got a i did boski got a, a little tipsy i'm not gonna say very tipsy but everybody that was there kind of knows so <coughs> boski i don't know what the heck his deal was but he was trying to get kind of aggressive with other males which is funny like not in a bad, malicious tent he was just kind of trying to be like like you know bro dude right and so there's a point where he was like doing this thing where he's just like oh my grip is better than yours and i'm like yeah, look at your fucking forearm. It's all like jerking off. <laughs> but, and then there's a point where like, he like, he like try to like, uh, in jujitsu, it's called seatbelt position mm-hmm. where like you're behind somebody, but then you have your arms clasped like under their armpit and then one over the opposite shoulder. And, uh, and he's just like, I don't know what his point was to this, but after like hours of drilling and shit, like my, my hand naturally just went in the position where you kind of defend that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I've been trained to defend my neck in all yeah, circumstances. So you choked him out for no reason? No, 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 no. He, no, 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 no. So at some point, like that kept going at some point. And then we were talking in one area. And then I don't know how we got into it. But then we started kind of wrestling. I don't remember how this happened. But at some point, I took his back. Jeez, man. <laughs> hey, what were you doing during this? I was watching like a good person watching the, the cornhole? extreme cornhole competition yeah. going on at outside. some point and then he like he i don't know if he thought i was he was gonna let me go because i was gonna let him go because he he like dropped on the couch so he basically like like dropped with his weight on the couch and that's when i threw the hooks in i was like no dog i got the hooks in now and he's just like no like when i got one hook and he was like oh shit and then i slowly creep my hand over to his shoulder and then he tapped he knew he knew what was up you yeah, competition ready well, he was also very enamored. Enamored? No. Enamorated? What the fuck's the word I'm looking for? He was drunk. So I had the upper hand in that situation. So, son, you ready for, you ready for competition? Nah. I'm not into it. But I just thought it was hilarious. It's outside. Everybody thought we were, like, seriously, like, like wrestling. I was like, calm down. We're just, we're just, we're just relax. We're just play okay. around. Just relax. It's okay. Like, the boys will be boys, according to fucking Gillette. Okay, like who, fucking, fucking. Uh, like who's next? <laughs> get in line, bitches. Fucking Gillette is afraid of fucking people being physical and shit. God, that that. What did you think about the Gillette commercial? I showed it to you. Yeah. What did we you think about? Trying the, to talk about that, huh? We were trying to talk. about We were trying that. to talk about that last week, and we were unsuccessful after our trauma with the tire, but. What did you think about that <clears throat> Gillette commercial? It was all right. I mean, they're bringing up some good points, but also, don't be a weak little bitch. A bitch-ass bitch, as my dad would say. <sighs> you and your bitch-ass bitch thing. I, I honestly, like, I don't know how I feel about the commercial. First of all, first of all, Gillette, you're trying too hard. You're not trying to save the world and shit. Come the fuck down. Your one commercial is not going to change manhood. Relax. All right, stick to, stick to helping people get hair off of their bodies. Start there. I mean, can they make something... Get real something, good at that first. They say they need to do something where I can shave my balls without cutting <laughs> my balls. And <laughs> then... How often you cut your balls, dog? Hey, I don't, I don't, I don't play with the sack because I'm not trying <laughs> to <laughs> cut a nerve down there and I die. So, you know... Can you imagine you're like fucking bleeding out in the shower and shit because yeah. it doesn't, it doesn't uh, yeah, it don't, coagulate? No, I ain't trying to do that. In the water? Yeah, I ain't trying to do that. You're like, I, I cut that that main vein that goes up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, I split the center. Uh, you broke the seam open, yeah. dog. 
Not my soul is leaking out. That's where the fucking all spark sits. You yeah. can't fucking cut that Yeah, like open. my soul is leaking out now. Yeah, like, I ain't, I ain't trying to have that. So, when they figure that out, then okay. Then you can go on to the next They can go on to world, world right? solutions. Men. Men in general. Till then, calm the fuck down. Also, also, by the way, for those that haven't watched the July commercial, you should probably go watch that. Yeah. Uh, also... This is a free and equal world now, right? We got equality. Right. Men and women are equal. I demand. Choking I, everybody. I demand a female version of that fucking commercial. All right, I demand a female version of it. We're gonna talk about how men are fucked up. Where the fuck is a woman commercial talking about women issues and shit and, and the stereotypes that come to about <laughs> women? Fuck are those at? Because Gillette all of a sudden seems to think that their their main. Uh, Attraction is other men buying their fucking razors to shave their face. Correction, Gillette, okay? Women use your fucking razors. Yeah, too. I say uh, Star-Lord is completely out of shape in the, in the, all the Marvel movies because, you know, women are attracted to that. The out of shape guy? Dad yeah. bod? You know, same thing with Thor. Thor isn't yoked out of his mind because, you know, women aren't attracted to that. Yeah, it's just that Gillette commercial is fucking weird. It's like you're That's trying some, too uh, hard to fix a some bigger stereotypes, problem. stereotypes, man. And there are some stereotypes in there. First of all, <clears throat> first of all, for you to look at that one scene where the kids are wrestling on the ground and all the dads are like, boys will be boys. Like, yeah, boys will be boys. There's a reason why Boski got a little drunk and he fucking started wrestling, all right? Because guys do that shit. That's what monkey guys DNA. fucking do. Do it's you think DNA. that? Yeah, exactly. You think that some fucking commercial is gonna make the monkey DNA in a male go away? What the fuck is wrong with people? This is that snowflake fucking mentality where everyone their mother has to feel this need to everybody can be perfect and equal and have their own say and everybody can get their way no matter even though there's contradicting concepts. Like what? What? I don't know. That Gillette commercial is a bunch of bullshit to me. It's like you're trying too hard. Not every guy is like a, a misogynistic sexual sexual abuser where he's like grabbing chicks' asses and, and laughing at things and, and abusing women's positions in, in, in society and in the workplace and fucking always wrestling. Like, calm the fuck down, Gillette. Calm the fuck down. Shit ain't that serious. Go build a razor with 13 razors on it. Like, do something bit more productive no, I'm, than I'm that fucking you, thing. I'm telling you. I'm just telling you. Shave my Optimus balls. prime <laughs> of razors. Tell me one that transforms into, like, from a regular razor to, like, a fucking face razor to, like, an edging razor. Like, do something productive with your time instead of trying to cure yeah, the world. Yeah, why can't we have a, a laser, a laser, a disposable laser hair removal shit? 2019. Yeah, Gillette, get on that. You got money for this fucking campaign. Go, go, go! Develop some laser hair removal, or at least a way for me to shave like Superman did in the 2000 That's cartoon. Just what I was thinking. Where he just looks at the fucking mirror and just zaps his That's his just face what off. I was, That's what I was thinking when yeah, I said laser. Man. Or whatever fucking Goku and Vegeta use when they got out of the hyperbolic time chamber or whatever. Whatever, man. Just hook it up. Stop worrying about men and shit and, and build some cool it's ass all, razors. That's all I want. Is it yeah. too much to ask for? Damn, Gillette. Why are you trying so hard? Come the fuck down, Gillette. Don't try so hard, Gillette. <coughs> Don't try so hard. Damn, son, you get everybody sick. Don't try so hard, Gillette. No, this poor man didn't realize these were handicaps. Poor ignorant man. Damn, dog. Probably shaves with Gillette. Probably does. Bitch ass. Probably does. What you got going on, dog? What, what are your oh, thoughts? Oh, hey, man, did you, hear, uh, did you hear what happened to Ariana Grande? Yeah, her tattoo. Dumb bitch. So tell them what happened for those that, that so, didn't hear. So Ariana Grande making that money can't be mad at it, you know, even though she's kind of flat chested. Wow, small. weren't you into her a while ago? No, I've never been into her. You're into you're into all those chicks that look like they're fifteen. No, man, she looks actually eighteen. She looks like she's like ten. She looks very young. I can't. No, oh, she's too skinny. She's eating a sandwich. She is very skinny. Anyways. If you're into her, that's your weird thing. Damn. Um, <clears throat> she sings real good, though. I'll give you that. 
Seems good. Actually, I am impressed. She's got a good voice. Yeah, she does. I can't deny that. She's making that money, too. Can't deny that. Not mad at it. Not do, mad at that either. Get that paper. Do your own thing. Get, Get that, that paper. paper. <laughs> no. I, I was just saying, I'm not attracted to her. Okay, so continue. So, uh, to celebrate her new song called Seven Rings, like the Mandarin got seven rings or ten rings. How many it's a song got? or album? Song. Oh, fuck. Um, so, to celebrate that, she bought all her friends seven rings, what the song's about. But she wanted to get a tattoo that says seven rings. So this dumb hoe apparently went to a tattoo artist and was like, oh, give me the tattoo that says seven rings. Like, if she didn't check this very hard. It was Chinese kanji, right? Yeah. So it was like Chinese lettering kanji. Yeah, yeah. So she didn't check it very hard, didn't babble fish it, didn't Google Translate it I'm very say well. say Google Translate um, so she got it right here on her wrist, I think, or somewhere. It's on her palm. Somewhere. Somewhere kind of visible. She's like, oh, look. She put it on Instagram. She's like, oh, look. It says seven rings. And some people were like, nah, bitch, you don't say that. It says, what is it, like Chinese it's, barbecue it's or something? Like, it's, Korean little, barbecue. it's like a little grill or something yeah. like that. It's like a tiny little grill that you grill fish with. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, barbecue. It's like Korean barbecue. Yeah. The, the I mean, I, I heard this story, and since then she's actually had it corrected. Now she has like two more extra kanji, so it's four kanji altogether that apparently makes sense now. I don't know how that works. But the part that disturbed me the most, not disturbed me, but made me kind of laugh, was in the picture that she took of the original two kanji. You look at that picture on Instagram or whatever, the original, original one, not the new one with the four kanji. Her, I didn't think it was real. Because her hand looked like a mannequin hand, like it looked, it looked rubbery, like her hand looked too f- moisturized. I was like, that ain't real. She didn't do anything. That's just publicity for her album. But you look at her fucking hand, and it looks all like creamy smooth. It's just like, what? What are you like a fucking? Like you get put in a Ziploc bag after the day and just get marinated in in liquids. What the fuck is going on? Maybe it's, the it's blood weird, of the man. It's weird. It was weird, but apparently I think she did it because the next picture she took of the four kanji looks a little bit more like a human hand. It's probably just filters on the hand. It's fucking weird. It looked weird, dog. She's apparently, uh, apparently from. Apparently. Say, apparently. She's apparently uh, got the very <laughs> nice skin. I I guess. I don't know. I don't so, pay attention to That's what you get people. from. Uh, you get very smooth skin from, uh, you know, blade. Uh, Bathing in the blood of the... The owl king? Yeah, the orphans. Oh, jeez. Hey, man. That's how you get smooth skin. Or get a nut on the face, one of the two. Wow. That's what they say. It helps. Is that is that really? Yeah, wink, wink. Uh. Yeah. So anyways, what else going on? What do you think about the weekend? I liked it, man. Good trip. Fucking Good trip. cars are us this week for me. It's like constant car shit. Constant fucking car shit. Yeah, the trip back was wasn't too bad. Going up there though was a pain in the. Uh, I to me it was the opposite. I fucking had an easy time going up there. Coming uh, back was like, ugh. oh, but wasn't too bad. We made some stops along the way. You took a long ass time to get back. I was already home by the time you were barely getting to town. I was like, all right, this dude's gonna be out for a while. No, I got back at like at eight. I was. I had to get to go to bed, get ready to go to work tomorrow. Yeah, I went to work too. I went to sleep like at ten. Too late for me. But yeah, I mean, it was a fun trip. Overall, it was a fun trip. Um, damn. Damn, these guys are grabbing carts very aggressively. Got bro, wants those carts. How thin? How thin is your fucking glass, dog? I have the window down. Oh, I was like, geez, I can hear everything in your glass. So, anyways, don't want to smell like dude, dude nut in here. Dude, nut. Oh. Nuts. Sorry. Gross. Yeah, man. All right, let me hit up the store real quick. Oh, yeah, that's right. You got to do this store thing. Looking okay. for a, looking for some gifts for the black mystery girl. Okay. I wonder if I should just... Uh, Pause it? Damn, dog. Huh. You're like, every store will have the thing I'm looking for, and they didn't have shit. No. And have shit you're empty handed now. Be yeah, okay. What are you gonna do, dog? What are you gonna do? Be yeah, okay. Be alright. She's gonna like cut you off now. 
Never. For another month. Never. So you guys break your fucking governors again. That just was bounce that red line like, like you're trying to bounce the RPM off of the that was, uh, attack. That was my idea, by the way. That was your idea? Yeah. Damn. That's probably why she was so mad about it. Yeah. She was just like, he can't eat off. I was like, wow. Ruben cut you off. Wow. Gotta get back down to zero, man. Yeah. I guess, man. You shouldn't be choking each other with hangers and shit. Warm, warm hangers. That's how, uh, that's how, uh, Kung Fu died. Kung Fu died. Go, hoes. Fuck you, then. Wow, they didn't trust you at all. They went around your car. They're like, fuck that dude. Because I called him hoes. Why is it so dark over there? Is that murder? Wow. That's deadly. Deadly. Let these girls walk by. Come on, dog. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. By the way, ladies, how you how you gonna throw your cell phone in your back pocket? Nowadays, that shit's like a quarter out your pocket. Quarter out your pocket. You jump a little bit, that thing is gone. That's a fourteen hundred dollar phone or whatever the fuck those things cost nowadays. Out the window. I mean, you're not wrong. Out the window. You're not wrong. It's Plus, very true. if you sit on it, what if you got like a big old ass and shit, and just just crack your I screen? I never, I never understood that. Girls sit on their phone and it's fine. It's it's fine. Fuck, this is a hobo. Lots of zombie hobo. They might try to rape you. I know how they. I know how they. You like them? The I'm like, hey, sex. hobo, you want to be on the podcast? I don't. I don't, dude. Around this area, I just don't. I think it's all a ring. I think they all work together. Every time I I come here randomly. And I'll eat lunch in one of these places. They're like together eating lunch, talking about their escapades for the day and who's got what money and what 401k they're putting that into. And you know what I mean? Is like, that what they're doing? Yeah. I'm like, hold up. This doesn't sound legit. It sounds like. It sounds some y'all shenanigans. Y'all are conning some people. Some shenanigans going on. You yeah, see, you man. See, you know? Fuck. Okay. So some hobo shenanigans hobo shenanigans yeah man so we can so, come up with a shirt every weekend um got to you got to you gotta be proactive in the shirt making business yeah uh, I should have been fucked up and been like rolled down the window they'd be like oh thank you I've been like no man it's hot that's right I'm trying to get some air I'm trying to get some air in this bitch yeah so anyways I'm surprised she cut you off or you uh, cut her off hey man just gotta you know Take it back down or not? I do agree, though, man. You gotta, you gotta go back to baseline when you're getting too crazy. We're committing uh, misdemeanors to get off, and you know, you just you gotta, gotta relax. Did I tell you about the committing misdemeanors. No, what are, what are we talking about? We uh, went to the open doors. Like when you go and check, yeah, houses, houses. like they're for sale. Yeah. Like some undis- un- unsuspecting bystander is like, oh, I'm going to sell my house. I'm going to put it on open door. Yeah. And then what? They like leave the door unlocked for you or yeah, some so, shit? Or so, how does it work? Okay. So this said place, you go on there. It could be this place. It could be another place. Who knows? They, uh, you uh, find the place and then you're like, oh, you text a number or whatever. You're like, I want to. Oh, you get, you text them? Yeah. It's an app. Oh, okay. And then okay, you're okay. like, oh, I'm in front of this place. Or this house, and then they, uh, they're like, "Oh, okay. Uh, here's the code to get in." And you push it in. And you're like, "Beep, beep, beep, beep," and lets you in. And you're looking around, and then you're like, "Oh man, <coughs> this house is so nice. I want to buy it. I, I could, I could see myself living here." And then other people are like, "Oh man, this house is so nice. I could fuck here." <laughs> Hey, are these furnished houses? No. And these no, are empty all, houses. They're all empty. Okay, so there's nothing for you to use for like, yeah. you know, standing or no, leverage yeah, or, no, or, no. or, you know, beds. Yeah. Gotcha, okay. Gotta, so you guys are fornicating, doing the dirty. Mm-hmm. You guys are spanking the proverbial ham. Right. You know, you're doing all that shit. Right. And fucking houses that are going to go up for sale. Yeah. You guys are just like animalistic like. Mm-hmm. Spreading your fucking s- your scent all over houses right. that are about to go for for sale. Mm-hmm. 
Disrespectful motherfuckers. <laughs> this is right. Jeez, dog. That is right. How do you know there's no cameras in there? There isn't like, you know, those nests or pipers and shit in there. And just people getting... Why do I have you film? I'm, filming I'm glad like, you asked me. Okay. Because I'm not, <laughs> I'm not so stupid to be like... I'm going to fuck in the living room. Yeah, let me fuck in the living room on this hardwood floor. First, I'm going to be sliding all over the place. <sighs> Second thing, that's going to hurt. You're like, I like to leave my socks on, so I would definitely not have grip in this, in that's this right. area. That's right. My feet always got to be warm. <laughs> um, uh, no, uh, you go into the master bedroom closet. Oh, because that's the biggest. Yeah, it's the biggest. Nobody's putting a camera in there. <sighs> Damn, I guess. Son. I guess, man. It looks you like you've thought about this. Got to. When you're committing uh, misdemeanors, you got to be. You look like you're already, you you're already had thorough. this plan before you, 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 you called up this app. You got to be thorough. You're over here, like, blowing up uh, an inflatable bed, and you're like, oh, this fits in the master bedroom yeah. closet. Yep. yep wow. Yep. Yeah, man, you got to take it down. That's what I'm saying. You gotta take it had down. To, had to go. Had to, like, you hit you hit Super Saiyan. You got you to gotta come back down to Yeah, come normal. back down. You can't just stay in Super Saiyan, right? No, it worked for fighting Cell, but we're not fighting Cell right now. Yeah, like, we're just getting we're some, just... some good ham slapping action. Yeah. I got you, dog. It's I got 2019. You. We're fucking ankles in 2019. <laughs> How's that going? How's that ankle fucking going for you? This it's so good, far? man. It's good. Yeah, you enjoying it? You having fun with yeah. it? Yeah. Just take your dick out, slap some ankle. You're like, oh. You're like that ankle. That ankle. That ankle is prime. That's a prime ankle. Right a there. one ankle. Yep. You ain't yep. ready for this action ankle. That's right. What else are we doing in 2019? Anything else we're doing in 2019, man? No nah, man. One month down, 2019. Something. Right? What the fuck? By the way, I apologize to anybody who is uh, following my my um, motivational what did I call thing. It? Yeah, my my goals planning um, thing on Instagram because I didn't do one for two weeks because you know tire fight and or trip. <clears throat> but I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna be back on it. I'm gonna get back on I'm that ass. I'm gonna start ass. doing it too. By you the time do, you do the professional one, I'm gonna do the lazy man one. You're like, hey, get off your ass. <coughs> Damn dog. You're getting sick and shit. You're not getting better. You're getting sick. You're Stop. trying to contaminate us and shit. You're like that first person that gets sick in zombie patient movies. Zero. You're like the fucking free. Yeah, you're patient zero in the zombie movies. And you're like, no, I'm not sick. All of a sudden, you're chewing fucking people's yeah, faces like, off. Yeah, like he was just eating the coochie. Then he <laughs> ate too much. <laughs> he was just eating the coochie. And then he really started eating the coochie. Like, what? He's consuming the coochie. Yeah, he's becoming it. It's too much. Jeez. It's too much. Jeez. Uh, um, the fuck we're we talking about? Oh, you got it. It's in this is weird ass uh, realm of oh, no, darkness. You're, you're gonna do the. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll get back to it. I, in fact, by the time this releases, I would have already had an update <laughs> on that there Instagram. So if you're still trying to complete some shit in 2019, you're not trying to be a lazy fuck. All right, get on that tip. Let me, get, uh, let me get you help you with your goals. I'm going to do it too. I'm going to be like, look, what's your problem? Put down the fork. What? Yeah, put down the fork, fat ass. <clears throat> I'm oh. like, look, look. You can, oh. have, you can have cupcakes. You don't need seven cupcakes. You need one cupcake. I stop going to Starbucks. It's six dollars a pop. You don't, need, you don't need that cup of coffee. Nope. You don't need that. You don't need the you whip need, on top of that either. No, you're a fat ass. Yeah. What you do need is... To lift heavy objects. At least once a day. At least once a day. Yeah, I agree. I need to get back on that. I'm a bit bad at that. Yeah, dog. Get back on that lifting routine. <clears throat> get back on that diet. You'll be straight. You'll be looking straight. like fucking uh, uh, Blade, circa 2000. Wesley Snipes, I mean. Circa 2000. Dude, those were, those were good movies, man. Those were good. Yeah. I was watching Blade 3 the other day. So people would say that's the worst one. That's I was the one with like, Ryan Reynolds in it, right? Yeah. I was like, this is badass. I don't know what you're talking about. Ryan Reynolds is fucking yoked. Dude, that dude, that man was fucking jacked out of his mind. Yoked. I was like, were you on all the roads? Just I was like, every fucking damn, thing? dog. Did you do all the crunches? Did you do everybody's crunches for them? You're like, yeah. fuck it. Everybody's yeah. crunches. I'm doing them. Yeah. They're like, hey, uh, what's your snaps? You got to do 100. Nope. Ryan Reynolds did them already. What the fuck? Don't, don't worry. Ryan Reynolds got you. He, he did an extra 100 <laughs> for you. You're good. He did 34 of them. Um, yeah, man. Some people say that's the worst one. I fucking love all those movies. All those movies are great. Yeah. I fucking love them. Well, I kind of feel bad. You look at Wesley Snipes now, and he's not aging very well. 
he's aging okay. I'm like, you should have stayed on the gear, dog. He's aging all right. It's all right. Anyways, um, that's all I'm saying. Oh, hey, man. I uh, I did get a Black Mister Girl uh, early birthday gift. You're like role, you're like a lingerie Tuesday. We're doing uh, we did role play in the hotel room. I broke in. Ah, uh, I was like, hey, give me your money. Uh, you guys are already in the darkness areas of sex. Yeah. You're like doing the rape fantasies. Yeah, I was like, give me your money. She's like, I don't have any money. I just got this. Then I was like, no, I want money. And I walked out. <laughs> you're like not good enough. I'll not see good you enough. Later. I want money. I'll see you later. I got bills. That's like. <laughs> The I, fuck? That's not gonna buy me a subway sandwich. Yeah. The I'm fuck? Hungry. They don't take, they don't take dirty panties at that subway. Oh. Uh, this is a creep. Damn, he might. Dog. Anyways. Damn. No, I got her. Uh, I got her uh, early birthday gift. Uh, it was a new. Uh, is she gonna know? Day. Is she gonna know it before? Oh, you already yeah, gave it to her. Yeah, I gave it to her. Anyway. I got you. I thought. I thought you were gonna spoil it here, and then she's no. gonna hear about it later. Or that day no. or whatever. Because this shit releases early, dog. For those that don't know, I release this bitch at 5 in the morning. Fuck, that's early. 5, dog. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, in, your, I'm in your ear holes at early as possible. I'm asleep at I'm trying time. to. I'm trying to get up in them ear holes quick. You want to be there. Quick. I before park. anybody else. What? I should have parked in. Um, whatever, though. Um, that's early, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm just trying to get it in. I'm sure. But um, what was else? What else did I tell you? No, um, no. So yeah, I got her a uh, new robot dick. Good man. I tried. Tried it, man. Wait, what? Tried the robot dick. You, 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 you wrapped your mouth around a robot dick mm-hmm. until it came in your mouth. <laughs> I don't think we have a friendship anymore, dog. <laughs> I think this is the last episode we do. <laughs> this is a final episode of Monday's Locker Room Talk, episode 123. You're like, one, new two, podcast. three. It's, it's fate. One, two, three. New podcast coming soon. Uh, <sighs> what happened, dog? Turned gay on me all of a sudden, huh? It took one trip to Boski's for you to turn gay. Huh. Fun facts. He had me in that room. <laughs> Boski was trying to wrestle me and he won. He won. <laughs> He told me he'd give me a pop. <laughs> He's like that really rare Batman one. I'm really like, wanted. okay, make it quick. The make peg, it quick. The pegging help me. Uh, Prepare for this. He's like, and he still didn't give me the pop. He didn't give me no pop. <laughs> um, uh, you tried the robot dick, huh? I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like now I need to keep an eye on where your hands are at all times. I'm like, <laughs> Get off me. Get off me. <laughs> I'm like, hey, nice Get to see me. you. Get off me. I'm grabbing my balls. Is this how we say hi now? Ugh. Gross. Gross. Yeah, man. I don't... I don't... I, that is disgusting. Gross. It's disgusting. I can't... I can't do it. I don't... I don't... I don't... I'm not my... It's not my thing. It's not something I do. Plus, it's kind of gay. I'm just <coughs> putting it out there. I can't but. do it, man. I can't do it. Sorry. Sorry, Black Mr. Girl. I can't do it. I can't do it. Not my thing. No thanks. Not about that gay shit. Well, now you broke you broke the uh, the seal, dog. It's 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 your you're one foot deep. You might not be balls deep, but you're one foot deep in it. Hey, you gotta try everything just once. Uh, I disagree. Slip gay shit. Uh, you're in that realm now, though. Hey, you're robot, right, you're right robot there. dick is also you're gay, right but I bet you any any gay males that listen to this podcast right now. Like, oh, he did a what? Like, yes. I'm going to assume that's how you guys talk. Is that how they talk? I'm sorry if I offended you guys. But you're all like, yeah, Ruben's in our world. I can't do it. You're going to start getting, instead of uh, instead of coochie DMs, you're going to start getting dick, dick DMs, DMs now. You're going to start getting fucking phallic objects just coming at uh, your DMs. Be like, check this robot dick it out. Tastes like pow, chop- pow, 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 pow. Wow. I'm like, that's 18 inches. It's like multiple pictures put together as one. Yeah, I'm like, where does it start? Where does it stop? <laughs> Look Where's at the that. middle? Is that all you... Is that a Subway sub? Is that a Snickers bar? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I Comes around for a circle, dog. Full circle. Um, it tastes like chalk, too. What? Yeah. I thought they're flavored. Yeah, the flavor was chalk, apparently, because it didn't taste good. <coughs> <coughs> See what Robot Dick to you? Dick Dick did to you? Made, made you sick. sick. Robot Dick 
made you weak. Made me, made me sick, man. Your immunities are out the window now. Uh-huh. You got all kinds of vape and shit coming through your lungs. Who knows what happened Terrible. there? What happened there? You're probably like down to one lung. Your and cardio be- your cardio is like shit now. You're like, all of a sudden. Well, then that's all. I got three strokes and I'm tired. Hey, that's going to be on um, Black Mr. Girl. She's going to be, be like, why, why are you giving out so quick? You're like, oh, man. All that vape. I can only go down you for 35 minutes now. Yeah, I say not 60 minutes anymore. Not 90 minutes anymore. I was say, you're down to 35, dog. One more puff and you might as well just shove Ray J up in you. You know what I'm saying? Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Kim Kardashian that, tape, just like that. That's good. Uh, quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you pause there for a second and you're like picturing it. Just yeah. for one second, you're like, oh, oh. Uh, Why's that giant Snickers bar coming at me? It's like a black mamba. Black mamba. Wow. Jeez. Which, by the way, have you seen that fucking meme where it's uh, it's like <laughs> Rogan has uh, Kanye on his podcast yeah. and he's like, He's like, oh, you know, Kanye, you know, Kim has a sex tape and has a picture of the next picture is Kanye, like sour face. And he's all that angry face. And then the next picture is like Joe lighting up a joint or something. And he's like, hey, Jamie, pull it up. Yeah. (laughs) That fucking meme is fire. Whoever made that. Yeah. Supposedly Brock Lesnar wanted to be on the podcast. That'd be interesting. That'd be interesting. Because then you got to wonder if he's going to be in character or not. Um, he might be. He's been training like a motherfucker wrestling, by the way. Yeah, he's been uh, doing like wrestling, like not not WWE wrestling, no, like, no, like Greco Roman, yeah. you know, wrestling wrestling. Yeah, he's been getting in shape. He just wrestled on Sunday. You think he's getting ready for that DC fight? <coughs> he's getting ready for DC to like take him down. Yeah, I think at WrestleMania, which is in April, he uh, loses the title finally, finally. After and then he calls years. out DC or what? He's like, "Come on, DC, I'm going to go back to that UFC fight." Yeah, and then he appears out of the ring of the UFC. He's like, oh, I want you. I want you, DC. And DC's like, okay. You mean a guy like that takes it seriously anymore? Or he's just doing it for the payday. I think that's for the money. I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, no, you're going to make money, but I, I mean, are you trying to get the bell back? No. He's probably just trying to get one big ass check and dip. I mean, I think. I gotta look it up, but I think. WWE was paying him in the millions. How often is he wrestling for that millions? Six times a year. Damn. It must pay to get on all that juice and wrestle people. Yeah, and he wasn't taking it seriously, but now he is because now he's in better shape. And now he's actually like wrestling actual matches. Before they were like two minute matches. Now they're like up to like 10 minutes or so. So. Hmm. He's trying to get his cardio for DC. Yeah, and now he's like actually wrestling. Now he's like actually picking his opponents. He's like, hey, can I wrestle that guy? And he's actually putting on decent matches with them. I'm oh. like, oh, I was like, I forgot, Brock. You're actually decent at this. That's right, dude. Uh, fucking uh, Kane and and Ganu is coming up too. Is that tomorrow? No, no, no. no not tomorrow tom- is no. Uh, is there a fight tomorrow? Yes, ESPN Plus. But it, oh, I think I, my sister still has it. Anyways, long story short, now you know what day we're recording this on. But anyways. Long story short, it was a good weekend, a good week. I mean, I dealt with a lot of car drama, which I won't bring up because I know the ladies on this podcast do not want to fucking listen to that. But car drama like a motherfucker. I will say, though, any of you doing your fucking jobs out there, all right, be goddamn professionals about it. All right, give a fuck a little bit, just a little bit. If I'm paying you to do something, all right, mm-hmm. fucking do it. Mm-hmm. Don't just be like, oh, I'm going to get away with X thing. No, 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 no. All right, I've been dealing with car bullshit so much so that I'm fucking done with these car people that can't do stuff right. Paint work. Like, paint work is finesse work. Right. Okay? It's attention to detail work. I'm paying you to do the fucking job right. Not for me to get it back and finish your work. Right. But I won't get into it. I'll just leave it at that. So something about it. Unprofessional motherfuckers. But I'll just leave it at that. It's not like I'm paying you cash or anything. And by cash, I mean electronic payment because who carries that kind of cash with them? My dad keeps telling me I need to carry cash. I'm like, no. I carry cash, but I don't carry that kind of cash. I don't carry any cash on me. You should carry cash because what Look if you're in the middle of fucking buttfuck Egypt and you can't like... Then we die. And then a to... Yeah, well, I guess you die. That's how we die. 
<laughs> it's always good to have a little cash. Like, let's say you're stuck in the middle of nowhere and shit, and you get a tow truck, but they're like, oh, we don't take debit card. You know, I don't know where the fuck you're at, but I'm just saying, what if that happens? It'd be good to have a little cash on you and be like, I'll give you these, you know, whatever, 40 bucks I got on me. And when we get to an ATM, I pay you the rest of I'm it. I'm like, look, man, I put robot dick in my mouth. I, I'm not afraid to put yours in my mouth. Wow. The truth comes out. The truth comes out. Hey, man, let's prepare me for that one time when I got to survive. <sighs> and that's why I always carry cash with me. It's a long story short. Carry cash, you're going to suck dick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this podcast went fucking sideways. Sideways, dog. I think it's been very productive. Jeez. You got our geez. internal thoughts. Oh, anyways, that's it, man. That's this week. I, I, there's more stuff to update you guys on because we did have two weeks off, but <coughs> I feel like Ruben's going to get me sick if I stay here well, any you, longer. I'm glad you cracked the window with these germs. Yeah, man. I'm going to wear one of those fucking masks so I don't have to breathe was, uh, any of this shit. It was a hotel just because uh, ours was a little shady. It was okay, but it was a little shady. Which, by the way, for the record, I still feel like I gave you the exact spot I stayed in. You just chose not to listen to me. For the record. No, I put that one in, Just in, in case Black Mystery Girl is listening to this. For the record. But we send each other so many fucking pictures that they dropped off. Like anything dropped off from a long time ago, so I can prove to you that I sent you the screenshot yeah, whatever. of the place. But whatever. Doesn't matter. Anymore. My place wasn't bad. But I think every time you, you go somewhere new, you got to stay in one shitty place just to... Just I mean, a, it wasn't. It was okay. You didn't get stabbed. That's what's important. No, the everything. Thing, the is thing better. I liked about it is, it was quiet. It was a little old. It was a little old. It was a little old. All right. It wasn't shady. It was just a little old. It was a little shady, but it was a little old. It was just old. Okay. okay. It could have been updated. It hadn't been updated. Yeah, dude, that's not bad, all right? That's most of the places yeah, that's by the Boskis. That's most of the places. Most of there. the places by Boskis are like that. You're lucky you didn't stay at that place where I almost died. Yeah, I don't know where you stay. By I the way, that place was there. death. I almost want to just take, take you there. Next time but it's so bad. I don't think they let you go in that building because that area is so bad. Like, you got to, you got to, I remember pressing the button and having them open the door for me manually because. They don't have the doors open to the Where public, the which, dude, it was not cool, man. Like, Skid row first of all, shit? first of all, that place you go in, right, and the guy is behind a fucking thing of bulletproof glass. Yeah, that's already red flag number one. Okay, then he's like, "All right, your room on is on like second floor. Take this elevator that's right next to us." And I'm like, "Cool." I take the elevator. I go. I get out the elevator, and the fucking hallway in the middle of the day, by the way, the hallways were like a fucking scene from Resident Evil. Fuck. It was like everything was dark. There was little tiny lights in the in the in the hall- hallways, putting out very small amount of light. Very small amount. Like you know, in those scenes in Resident Evil when they go around the corner with the fucking light, yeah. and then all of a sudden a fucking zombie's there. It's like, like you're just like ah, that's what I was expecting. Fucking. D-. And then you go into the room and you're just like, wow, wow. I don't want to touch any of this. The bathroom was okay, I guess. Not sanitary. I don't think it's been cleaned very well in a while. The trippiest part was I was on the second or third floor, and the the sheet. I'm sorry, not the sheet. The the curtain that covered the window was this sheer material that would let everything through. I can get up, look through the window, and see my car in the parking lot. No oh, fuck. And there was no other curtains. And then there's a street light right there. So I had light all night. The whole hotel was fucking ridiculous. And it had like a three star out of five or something. I'm like, what? this is ridiculous. Yeah, dog. Yeah. The place I stayed at this past time was like a resort compared to that place. All right. So we'll, we'll have to try that one next time. Yeah, you try that one next uh, time. Just so you know how the experience. Just, so this one was a little old. It was fine. Everything was fine. It was just fine. It was it was okay. It was just a little old. Your your dates are wrong. Yeah, mine uh I have the wrong yeah, it's the wrong thing. Uh it has it switched for AM and PM. Alright, go ahead. Um so it was just a little old. It just hadn't been updated. But it, everything was fine. Just uh we had the heater on one night and then we had the the AC on one night 
So I think that messed me up. Yeah, I, I mean, I think in comparison to that one place, everywhere we stayed at has been better. So, I mean, that's why I'm sick right now, because we had the heat on one night, and Black Mr. Rose was like, turn on the heat. And I'm like, oh, fuck it. Oh, oh, okay. So it's a woman I, thing, I think. So I got up. Turn on to, you get up. Yeah. You get up in the middle of the night yeah. and disturb your REM sleep. Yeah. And go change the saw, fucking heat I was like, me. okay, and like, turn it down. Like, like women used to, like men used to do back in the day when men have to go and feed the fire in yeah, order yeah. to keep the temperature yeah. up. But you can't just be like, yo, fucking 2019, you want to get up and turn those fucking buttons yeah, yourself? Yeah. I'm not asking you to chop wood and shit like, and put it in and stroke the did. fire. Yeah, stroke the fucking fire. No, I need you to go there and press that button four or five times yeah. and come back into bed. Yeah, so that's what I did one night. And the next Quality night, we're ass. like, oh, it's too hot. She's like, oh, it's dying the night before. I'm like, you want the fucking heater on. But okay, whatever. So we put the, we had it cool all night. And so I think that's what messed me up. A bit. Probably, that's probably what happened. So. Though. I was like, whatever, but everything was fine. Yeah, you survived. And then the new the, stars, you're good. The new, the trippiest part was the nice Indian people who who ran the 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 hotel. They live at that hotel. Like they have a little offshoot from their little uh, the place where they, you know, where you go in there checking it out. Right. Their office. You go behind there, and that's like their house where they live. Why wouldn't they just live in one of the hotel rooms? I guess maybe that is what they do. Oh. They probably cleared out like two or three of them, and now that's their that's their home. They live there because they have like a security door. Um, they have like one right there next to it, so you can't get in. And that's their that's their house because they took their kid out and was playing with it. That's interesting. Yeah, but it was cool, and I liked it because there wasn't there was people there, but we didn't have anybody right next to us. Um, both ways, so nobody hear the wild animal noises we we're making. So that was cool. That's probably a good thing. Yeah, so you need to cool. go to the place we I stayed at it uh, in Sedona. Mm. That place was legit. Like it was, it was basically like a one room. What is it called? Um, what is it called when it's an apartment with one room? Condo. No, it's not a condo. Um, fuck. Studio. Studio. Yes, thank you. It was like a, a studio, basically, but it had like a kitchen. It had its, I mean, it had fucking everything. You could live in that area, like in that fucking room. It's badass. How much was that? I can't remember, but honestly, in the time I went, it wasn't expensive. Hmm. It's probably a little bit more than what you spent at your at the one in California. Because I thought it was one fifty three, but then when I paid for it, it came out to one twenty three. Oh, taxes and all that shit. Yeah. Oh, so, you mean? Oh, I get you. It was less. Yeah, it was less. Yeah. So no, this place like, okay. is a little bit pricier, but I mean, it had a washer and dryer in there, and I mean, it was pretty fucking that legit. But anyways, that's it, ladies and gents. That's that's your podcast for this week. I'm a little bit low energy this week, so my apologies. But hey, back next week, hopefully healthy. Yeah, Ruben. Hopefully, I'm not sick. Get that. Get that poo nanny juice. Get me back. <laughs> poo nanny. <laughs> ah, I haven't heard that in two years. That's the last time I said it. Two years ago. Poo nanny. You know that dumb bitch Cardi B says poo nanny. No, she doesn't. Yeah, she does. Uh. On her new song, she's like, oh, this poo nanny has not been defeated. I'm like, bitch, everybody been in that. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Uh. Sit down with your alien ass looking face. Damn. And take a seat. Nobody wants that poo nanny. Alien looking bitch. Wow. Well, there, there you go. Oh, look. Hey, I see Cardi B over there. Right next to Nicki Minaj. <laughs> oh. I'm pointing to two trash cans. Oh.